Hi, I'm John Mark Young, President and Chief Investment Officer of Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers, and I'm here with some excellent news for tax year 2023. Each year, the IRS announces changes to tax brackets, the standard deductions, your Roth IRA limits, 401k limits, and other retirement plan limits that they have. And we received those this week, and we're very excited to share them with you as you can now start making your plans around your budgeting goals in 2023. With record employee raises coming this year in 2022, we highly recommend you recalibrate your baby step four goals to match your current income and these new current limits to retirement accounts. So without further ado, let's dig in. I wanna start with the standard deduction. The standard deduction is the amount of money that you don't have to pay tax on as long as you don't itemize certain expenses such as giving, state and local taxes, and mortgage interest, to name a few. Most individuals and families since the Jobs and Tax Act of 2017 now just take the standard deduction, making their tax situation much easier to understand and much easier to file. That standard deduction is jumping 7% in 2023 to $27,700 for a married couple filing jointly, and it will increase to $13,850 for individuals and married couples filing separately. This is a wonderful jump because it will provide families with additional tax savings in that more of your income comes to you tax-free. That's the best rate, friends, zero. Likewise, the income ranges on the tax code seven marginal rates are gonna jump about 7% for tax year 2023. Now, I won't go through each of those rates because we'll be here all day, but suffice to say, this is also gonna provide you savings because you'll pay more income at the 10 and 12, the lower brackets. So reach out to your tax and your financial advisor today to see how these rates are gonna impact you going forward. All right, now let's do a quick aside. If any of my three children use a four letter word, I would take them out back and give them a good beating. If they continue to use those th four letter words, I will remind them that I'll take you out pretty quick and make another one that looks just like you. Okay, so however, the four letter word that they are allowed to use in our household, and they can use it all day every day, is Roth IRA, baby. That four letter word is gonna make them millionaires one day, uh, 250,000 for each letter. The Roth IRA and traditional IRA limits for 2023 have been increased to 6,500 per year for those under the age of 50, and 7,500 for those over the age of 50. Your 401k, 403b, 457 plan will now allow you to contribute 22,500 each year if you're under 50. And if you're over 50, that's gonna to increase to $30,000 with a $7,500 catch-up contribution. Those that have a simple IRA with our firm will now be able to contribute 15,500 up from 14,000 the previous year. And if you have a SEP IRA, that will increase to 67,000 and your HSA contribution has been increased $200 for an individual to $3,850 and $400 to $7,700 for a family HSA plan. The income limits for doing a Roth IRA will increase by $9,000 for a single individual to 30, $138,000 in 2023, and it will go up by $14,000 for a married filing jointly couple to $218,000 in 2023. Finally, a lesser known benefit is called the Savers Tax Credit. If you're married filing jointly and contributing to a retirement plan or IRA, maybe a Roth, and make less than $72,500 in 2023, you will qualify for a 10% tax credit. That's amazing. Uh, if your income is less than that, it get, that tax credit actually continues to go up. If you make $36,250 or less as a single filer, you will qualify for this special tax credit. If you're under these limits, please, 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 please put your Roth IRA or IRA contributions on your tax return. You should do it anyway, but definitely if you're, if you're under those limits. Otherwise, the IRS will not know to give you those benefits. So those are some of the increases that you've seen, we're seeing for 2023 that were just announced. They're all pretty good. I mean, if there is a good piece of inflation, and inflation is pretty bad, you've seen what it's done to the economy and the markets this year but it does increase the amount you're allowed to do in these IRA contributions. It increases the amount of income you're allowed to earn uh, and not be taxed as heavily on it. So those are good things and certainly things to help plan around for 2023 and going forward. So if you have any questions, please go to the notes a section of this video. You'll see a link to schedule a meeting with any of the advisors at our firm. You can also schedule a meeting with our CPA and any of our tax advisors. 
as well as you can uh, find a link in our, our notes to our blog. In a blog, we write a ton of great content around different tax savings and financial planning strategies that you may want to read to help your situation. So thanks so much. We look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.